بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان گڈ ٹو سی آل آف یو اگین ان دی سبجیکٹ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی اسٹڈنگ دی ایتھکس تھیوری اینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی ان ٹو ڈفرنٹ پارٹس فار اے ویری سمپل ریزن دیٹ دس از اے ویری براڈ ٹاپک لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ایتھکس دین اے لاٹ آف ڈفرنٹ ڈیفینیشنز اینڈ انٹرپریٹیشنز اینڈ الیبریشنز اینڈ کمپریہنشنز کم ان ٹو آر مائنڈ بٹ جسٹ ٹو سمپلیفائی ایتھکس اٹ از دا اسٹڈی آف مورالٹی Now, the question which emerges from the study of morality is, what is morality? So, morality, again, has thousands and hundreds of different definitions and interpretations. But the simplest one is the difference between what is right and wrong, what is correct and incorrect, what can be done and what should not be done. In very simple terms, it basically tends to stipulate what is accepted in society and what is not accepted in society. what is acceptable to an organization and what is not acceptable to an organization what can be done within a community and what cannot be done within a community it tends to create a framework of the do's and don'ts within institutions so ladies and gentlemen when we are talking about the right and wrong the good and bad the correct and incorrect then again something comes to our mind and that is that something which is right in pakistan might not be right in Europe. And something which is right in Europe might not be right in the United States of America or in the Far East. So there are different contextualizations which exist. There are different environments. There are different traditions. There are different conventions. There are different needs. There are different requirements. There are different religions. There are different communities. There are different values. There are different conventions all of these things can differ from place to place even in a country like pakistan we have a completely different texture of society in sindh in balochistan in punjab in khyber pakhtunkhwa in gilgit baltistan and in azad jammu kashmir so again we are one country but we do things differently so maybe what is liked in one region might not be liked in the other. So that is what morality is, that one thing would have many connotations, would have hundreds of different segmentization, would be followed or would be unfollowed in different ways. And that is the study of morality. That why is it so that predominantly a part of a community, a part of society, a part of an organization is doing things differently. Why is it that some organizations have a higher level of corruption? Why is it that some countries have a higher level of corruption? Even though corruption is a cancer which eats into the fabric of a nation, which makes it hollow, which makes it weak, why do we do it? Why have we seen so many corporate debacles in the past few decades. Why is all of that happening? Why is it that apparently everything is right, but in reality everything is wrong? Now all of these things emanate from the ethics theory. And when we classically look at the ethics theory, then we basically see that it can be Kantian ethics or it could be utilitarian ethics. Now in Kantian ethics, what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong. Lying is wrong in every community. Speaking the truth is correct in every community. Speaking the truth should not be conditional to benefit. The truth should be spoken because that is what is right. One should not be swayed by bias. One should not be swayed by contempt. One should not be swayed by considerations. One should not be swayed due to relationships. But everyone should speak the truth. Why is the truth not spoken? Is again a question of ethics. And then similarly, if stealing is bad, then no matter what the situation or the circumstances, one should not steal. So again, these different circumstances and these different situations lead 
to the very voluminous and very knowledge intensive interpretations of ethics theory. And then we have the utilitarianism that we do something because it is for the greater good, because the majority would benefit. But are we compromising on our values? Are we compromising on our ethics? Are we compromising on our purpose of doing things? That, ladies and gentlemen, is extremely important to understand. So, when we are looking at the different slides and this particular concept in a little bit of more depth and understanding, then what we basically see is that businesses have become a major provider to the society value in terms of job, products, and services. So, what is valued by society? What are the terms of different jobs, products, and services? That is extremely important to rationalize, to ensure that there is merit, to ensure that there is quality, to ensure that there is standardization, to ensure that there is fairness, to ensure that there is honesty, that there is no nepotism, that there is no corruption, and the organization or institution tends to become more sustainable based upon its value systems. Businesses collapse has a greater impact on society than ever before. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, what are we seeing? We are seeing that when businesses collapse, it has a domino effect. And the domino effect is, is that when one institution or one domino falls, then till the end, all the dominoes will fall. All the institutions will fall. And that would create a huge impact on global stock markets, on global, regional, and national economies, and also in competition. So therefore, to eradicate the failure of organizations, it has become very important to understand the ethical theory and apply it on an organization. Now, when we are talking about the demands placed by the firm stakeholders, what we see is, is that it is becoming more complex and more challenging. Ethics also is to be seen in the light of environment in which it is exercised. So again, something which is practiced in America cannot be practiced in Pakistan and vice versa. Something practiced in Pakistan cannot be practiced in Russia. Something practiced in Russia might not be practical in New Zealand. So every region, every nation has its own texture, its own complexities, its own complexes, its own requirements, its own understanding its own human resource, its own values, principles, and ideologies. So what we see is, is that the firm's stakeholders are becoming more complex and challenging. And why? Because there are so many probables. There are so many possibilities. There are so many opportunities. And in all of that, what we see is, is that sometimes we tend to compromise on our values and on our ethics and our morality, which should not be done. We should feel proud to uphold our own traditions, our own values, our own, our own principles, and our own ideologies of life, professionalism, and of business. Ladies and gentlemen, while business ethics theory focuses on the rights and wrongs in business, the feminist ethics theory emphasizes on empathy, healthy social relationship, loving care for each other, and the avoidance of harm. Now, when we talk about empathy, then basically it is putting yourself in the shoes of others. There are four types of pathies. There is, there is sympathy, there is empathy, there is apathy, and there is antipathy. And ladies and gentlemen, what we are going to do is, is that we are going to talk about this more in detail in our next session. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Tanika.